Hi guys, today's card we're going to be using the two Martha Stewart cartridges that I just got um, and I'm going to be using one of the borders um, which is on page 83 and I'm going to use this lovely flower border here and I'm going to use this slightly deeper one, I'm actually going to set it at two and a half inches so it's going to be just a little bit deeper so I'm going to use that and then on, and sorry and that was on the all occasions cartridge and on the elegant one cartridge we're going to use this happy anniversary okay so before we go across to the Cricut we're just going to prepare our card with the first part so I've got a cream card base which is a basic A4 card um, folded in half which is approximately five and three quarters when folded wide inches by eight and a quarter inch high that's just an approximation but before we go across we're going to put an insert that I've got that's got a lovely little poem with regard to anniversary so we're going to slide that in there first so I'm going to use my quick dry tacky adhesive and we're just going to do because this is a paper insert, um, the adhesive won't show, so we're just going to run this adhesive down the spine. I think I need a new one because it's a little bit difficult to get out. There we go. So literally just down the spine of the card. I haven't gone right to the very edges because obviously the insert is slightly smaller than the card so that it doesn't stick out the edges. So make sure it's the right way around. Pop that up to the spine and then tuck it right in and fold it over. And it's very quick drying glue and then just to make sure it's right in the crease you can use either your fingernail like I am or you could use your bone folder but just be careful when you do it just in case it isn't right in the crease you don't want to pierce a hole in it so just do it very gently okay and then we're going to set that to one side to dry so now we're going to go over to the Cricut okay so the first one we're going to cut out is the all occasions cartridge which is our border and I need to use the mirror droplet lowercase feature button so that's that one there so we press that and then I've already set it to two and a half um, height my pressure is at max my speed I'm going to take right down to medium and then I'm going to press that flower border button and we just wait for that to come up in the little box there we go, and then we're going to press cut. Okay, so now that one's finished cutting, we need to change the cartridge. So if you remember, you must always switch your Cricut off when changing your cartridge because you can damage your cartridges if you don't do this. So I'm going to turn the machine off. I'm not unloading my mat. Take my cartridge out, put the Elegant Cake cartridge in, remove the overlay and replace it with the Elegant Cake overlay and then switch my Cricut back on. And it will probably pop the mat back out again, not to worry. So then I shall load my mat back in, take that across past what's already been cut and then what I'm looking for is that um, icon on the overlay and then I need the phrase feature button. So first of all I'm going to press the phrase and then we're going to look for that one which is there. So we press that, we'll just double check that it comes up correctly on there. I'm just going to do this at two and a half inches again and obviously the same blade pressure and I'm also going to still keep it on the medium 
speed because they're quite intricate cuts so I think it's safer just for that extra few minutes to keep it slightly slower. Okay, so let's press cut. Okay, so that's finished cutting, so we'll then go back over to the table and start putting this car together. Here we go, so here's the cut, so you can see they've cut out absolutely lovely, they've really come up nice. So now we're going to start putting this car together. Okay, so just put the happy anniversary to one side for a minute. And start putting this, actually I do need the happy anniversary because I need it to position rest of it so if that's about there put that there and then our paper about there yes. okay so let's get uh, put him to one side now Oops. let's get the uh, glue runner I'm just going to run the glue runner on the main part and obviously this isn't going this is gonna hang over the edge and I will cut the rest off. And then for the little flowers, I think the easiest thing is to use the zig. Because to try and put the glue runner on those, it just wouldn't work. Okay. That's probably enough. Lid on that, and then I think I didn't need to leave that there, <laughs> and about there. If I line up the bottom of my card with the line on the mat, then I can see that I'm approximately straight, and I put that across. Well, that's the theory, anyway. Right, there we go, and then get my scissors and just cut that edge piece off like so that's the side okay then we need to put the paper on um, so we'll glue runner onto the actual Oh, this time, make sure I've got it up the right way. Like so. Okay, and then we'll line that up. Stick that down. Oops. Okay, and then the bottom off this and there we go put that piece to one side okay and I want some sort of oops, ribbon or something across there I should have done it before I stuck it down I if I can peel that bit off <laughs> Oops, sorry guys. <laughs> so I've got this cream pack which is from Anna Charlotte collection. She's got some lovely ribbons. This is a nice grow grain ribbon. I'm going to use the cheetah method. Okay, so it's going to be a bit of a fiddle. So just get this round. Just stick that piece down there. And get some tape. wide, you can't get hold of the end. There it is. <laughs> Couldn't find it. Oh, there we go. And then nip the ends off those. I think we'll do them nice and straight. There we go. 
one, two. Okay, that's about our happy anniversary done. So we're going to use our zig again. I really ought to put some scrap paper down. I always forget. There we go. Wipe that off so I don't stick my card to the table. And then place that centrally, like so. Make sure it's straight. Okay. And then I've got the little dot with the eye, which I was hanging on to. And we'll just put a little dot of zig on the paper and then we'll put our little there onto that. Okay, so there's this time's card. Hope you enjoyed and please come back again soon. Bye!